this is a um, you know a hotel and it's also a venue, so people want to have like weddings here or that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. We have to help get the raccoon out. Oh. You got right, to go help get the raccoon out. You gotta reset it. <laughs> so Foster's parents uh, own 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 still own uh, the Columns Hotel, which is a famous hotel uh, in New Orleans, um, uh, sort of a, a, up in the Garden District area. Um, and he was. Um, Worked in as a corporate headhunter for for people for hospitals, people that were looking for executive director, the kind of person that finds the executives, people to run the hospital. So that was his job to go around the country and figure out who would be a good administrator for this nonprofit or this you know county hospital or whatever the heck it was. He did that for a while. He didn't like it, and so he he threw in the towel and he decided he wanted to do. Uh, he always liked fishing and stuff and being out, so he wanted to have a, a basically a fishing lodge and a. In a, in a hotel and a place people can come and hang out and have fun and have community. And so he purchased this property um, and sort of has been rehabbing it, rehabbing it, expanding, expanding. So some of the buildings here, when we're done planting, we'll tour around it. Some of the buildings here are original, like the plantation house um, that was on the, if you guys ever see a bottle of Southern Comfort, not now, they changed the bottle about seven, eight years ago. but. But the bottle, all for the hundred years, whatever before that, um, has a picture of a, of a like a steamboat and a, and a plantation house. That's the plantation house on the bottle of some, Southern Comfort, the one over there, um, the big house. And then he brought other stuff here. Um, so, for example, this is called Spirits Hall. This is an old church um, that is, and the the altar area is now the the um, the uh, you know place where they serve drinks. And then the rest of it's a you know, a dinner, you know, a restaurant, and so, so guests that stay here, you know, usually eat dinner here, breakfast here, kind of thing, and then one of the main things is uh, guides. So folks who want to go sport fishing, um, uh, a lot of their guides poke, poke their boats here. And you, you stay here and you want to go fishing, so you call up a guide. Hey, you want to go fishing for you know the afternoon or whatever? Uh, go out and fish, and then if you catch fish, they'll clean and cook your your fish for you for dinner uh, if you want. Um, and then at night, hang out and, and have drinks and have, and have you know, iced tea and, and talk with the locals and talk with the visitors. And it's a, it's a, it's, yeah, it's a cool place to hang out. So this is, so Foster is um, someone that really, really, really is interested in restoring these areas, protecting what we have. Um, not everybody down here thinks that's important. He's sort of an unusual creature, unfortunately, in this area because of that. So also because of that, a lot of folks come down here. So when people come down for meetings, this is a place, right? It's a beautiful place, first and foremost. But secondly, for environmental groups, for government, you know, Quipra uh, uh, and, different, and different folks that are working on um, restoring the Gulf and stuff, this is, this is a perfect place, right? We're, we're on the edge of the Gulf, and we have the levees behind us, um, and Foster has, has very strong opinions about how we should be doing stuff. I'll let him tell you, but the short version shouldn't have levees. We should have just very small levees um, uh, and should be restoring our wetland, our floodplains, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, replanting, get bottomland hardwood out, forest out here, get more um, sediment deposition, all the stuff that you guys think we should do. He's a super strong advocate for it. Um, so, uh, but it's tough. It's tough making a living down here, right? It's tough making a living. Uh, uh, Katrina was really hard. Um, Ida was also very hard, so I, I think you'll tell us we had about a foot of water in that in that building right there. Um, so it's sort of yet again sort of rebuild and start over, or not not exactly start over, but but a lot of recovery, a lot of rebuilding, a lot of cleaning up, um, and it's and it's tough. Uh, so so you have to be Foster. Uh, he's great. He's a good friend of ours. We first met him when uh, John and I were uh, trying to help Katie with the first restoration plan, first planting. Design plan for for um, Woodlands Conservancy. Foster used to be on the board, the board of Woodlands, Woodlands Conservancy, and we we're trying to find some bare roots, the plants that we plant in the ground, and a dibble, which is a sort of a spade, like a sort of flat spade. And uh, so we came down and met him, and he's like, "What are you guys doing?" And we said, "Oh, that's what we're doing." He's like, "Ah," and um, and he took us out in a boat and. Uh, 
He said, do you guys have a crawfish boil? I was like, oh, we can have crawfish. Have you ever had a crawfish boil? He's like, well, next time you guys got to bring students here. So then after that night, uh, the next trip, we always brought students here to uh, to do stuff when we can. Uh, we don't always do planting here or, or clean up stuff here, but we'll do that this time. Uh, but then we always have a, a boil here. So we always, uh, uh, we'll do that for us here. And so we eat outside here, so we're all nice and messy, and it's don't get a big messy. And then we'll hang out for a bit. So this, this is Woodland Plantation. So you guys can knock around if you want to. So you see